what's going on everybody welcome to the stream how you guys doing today man how you guys doing uh we are today playing some brand new cards from the outlaws of thunder junction and i'm trying to build one of the final decks for a video uh, i've already done four videos today i'm trying to lock in a fifth one here for sure i would like to get six but i'm probably not gonna have time to get six today but um we are working on something right now. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. And maybe you guys can honestly help me out here uh, with this last one. Uh, I've got the idea, but I don't quite understand where I'm going to go with it yet. Um, but yeah, I do have to get one more video and I've got about an hour and a half to do it because I, from what the emails told us, the Outlaws of Thunder Junction event is going to end at six. I don't know if they're just going to shut everything off at six or what, but I do need to record another video while we're live here, which is something I hate doing, which is why I don't go live early on today is because I hate recording videos while live because I got to make mistakes and, and work out the kinks before recording. And I hate trying to sort that out through the live content, but we're going to have to deal with that today. Uh, the idea of this deck today, guys, I want, I want your advice here, by the way, hello, everybody. I will say hi in just a second. Is Smuggler Surprise. This is a card I saw immediately, loved it, uh, wanted to try to play this one immediately. I think it's completely broken. And I want to kind of do it the way I built the deck. Um, I called it Creature Bomb. It worked off of Galtas, both of these Galtas, and the ability to give haste through things like the Recruiter. Where's the Recruiter? <coughs> the Recruiter. So the Recruiter gives all your creatures haste. And my idea here is I really want to hit this card put two creature cards from my hand onto the battlefield and those creatures gain haste and immediately attack um and obviously maybe have it be like the galta which then will unload my hand and then hopefully find another galta and recruiter or even like um there's another dinosaur it could be like dino dinosaur themed and it could even be our other uh cruel dinosaur that gives all your dinosaurs haste that could work too um but i feel like that also might be doing too much because I've seen somebody today, they ran Terra of the Peaks and that seemed to work just fine. We've seen some mono green versions of the Smuggler Surprise that also seemed to work just fine. So I might have to concede the idea of trying to one shot and be crazy with this card and uh, might just need to do something a little bit more consistent and basic with it, uh, which is to just maybe flash in a couple Terra of the Peaks and really surprise the opponent. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyways, S.A. James, Brendan, what's going on? Steve, uh, Steven, sorry. Um, Gabby, Blob, what up, guys? 
Thanks for swinging by today, guys. I really appreciate it. I know there's a lot of people that you could be watching right now, so I appreciate you coming by and swinging through the channel. And I know I got on a lot later than everyone else, but um, trust me, it's going to be worth it. I got four really good videos for you guys done, so we're cooking. <clears throat> got to make it to a live for the first time? Well, welcome in, Lord. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, as soon as I'm as soon as I'm done with my route to, uh, tomorrow, Andrew. As soon as I'm done with my route tomorrow, I will. Uh, I'll keep you posted tomorrow. All right. So yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I think I like this Galta idea though, man. Getting the Galta in early with the smuggler surprise seems like such a cool idea. And then just go Terra the Peaks here. And then Terra the Peaks could end up one-shotting the opponent though. You know what I mean? Let's try it. Let's just go Terra the Peaks. Couple Galtas, couple Terrors. This card is insane too. This card's really, really cool. Um, I kind of want to try this with something else though. I don't know. Let's go ahead and look at Outlaws of Thunder Junction cards first and see... Oops. And see what uh see what I can find here. Um, there is one card I definitely want to try and play. Uh, where are you at? Where are you at? This card has been all over today, too. It's so good. Where are you at? There you are. Uh the Outcaster Trailblazer. This card is insane, dude. You plot this for three, and then you got yourself a really good turn four. Um oh yeah, I wanted to add a white because we were gonna be ramping. And I really wanted to use, I really wanted to use that enchantment in, buried in the garden to help us ramp and also remove some stuff. Um, yeah, I think as far as new cards go, I think that should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and just skim one more time here though, to make sure I'm not missing anything that could make the cut here. <clears throat> I've been having a lot of fun with the new set, by the way, guys. This new set is incredible. Like, it's been so much fun. Like, I've been seeing so many different things. Aside from skeletons, there's always going to be that one problem deck that just pops up over and over again. And today it was skeletons, but I really haven't had too much trouble with them. Um, I, had, I, I got blown out in one game with skeletons, but they had the perfect curve. Um, This card could be really, really good. Because we are going to try to unload our hand on one turn, but I don't necessarily think it's going to be uh, meant for our deck here. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much more I can do with the new cards with this. I think we're going to start looking at, like, Stomper for sure is going to make the cut, right? We got to get a Stomper in the field. And then we're trying to ramp. This card is sick too, man. This card is really cool. Uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put X. You know what? That actually might be pretty insane too. Um, with Terra the Peaks coming down and then uh, Brawler coming down. Both, you know, doing some crazy pump mechanics to the field. <clears throat> that might be insane. Uh, red, white. No. Yeah, I think we're good on the, the new stuff. I think we need to now start looking at, again, I need ramp, so we're going Stomper for sure. Stomper for sure. And then turn two. Um, turn two, maybe we should just look to ramp as well. Just like go straight ramps. If I go turn two ramp, that's going to try to figure out my curve here. Trying to figure out my curve. Kind of need um. Oh, I got an idea. Okay, I've got an idea. Temporary. Oh, this is gonna be good. Temporary lockdown because we're gonna have no real early game, and then basic battle. We need um. Where's it at? Turn two is gonna be our glimpse the core. Glimpse the core. And then we'd want the garden. 
Yeah, I think I like that a lot. And then we craft all of these and we start making our cuts. Okay, this actually looks really cool. <clears throat> this will be able to unload our entire hand, get any number of creature cards from our hand to the battlefield, which we have a really good amount of huge bombs. I need to cut three cards here though. This definitely needs to be in the build. This is gonna be the win con. <clears throat> I'm trying to think here. Maybe I just need to go here and here. And temporary lockdown. Buried, buried in the garden is so good because it's gonna ramp us up and it's gonna take care of the field. That's gonna maybe that's maybe too much ramp. Maybe we need to go. Because we got ramp here and here. We don't really need to ramp more than that. Because all we're trying to do is get to six mana. We're not trying to get to all of this mana. So maybe we need to splash in some more white spells that will help us get through. Maybe some life gain or at the sweeper, got removal. I don't know. Um, maybe just some get lost, something or something early that can just kind of keep us going. This might be way too heavy on the creatures, but uh, two of one drop. Let's go creatures. Just see what we got here as far as options go. I don't think it's gonna they're gonna be very helpful to us, but. What do we want? Just need something good to keep us alive. Well, the stopper is getting us basics, right? The stopper will be getting us some basic lands. Maybe ossification could work for us in this build, but it's kind of risky. Because not finding a basic would be pretty tragic. I don't know. I really need to get this deck built though and get it going because uh, we got to get one more video. At least, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Not seeing anything that jumps off the page here. Um, just does give me some mana, right? Adds mana whenever attack. Uh, While well, you control a creature with power for a greater, gets two to the end of turn, which is pretty helpful, but not not the best. All right, I think I'm gonna go with get lost. Just just to try. Some oh, you know what? Actually, Helix. Helix is a good card because it gains me life and it can help me um, remove some nonsense off the board sometimes too that's good and then we then we drop one of these probably yeah i think i like that but i need to get more lands um 25 lands Maybe. So if we played the Trailblazer on four for free, let's just say we played on four, right? Then we get the one mana, which gives me the five. Play this for, that cost six. Okay, so the curve on that's a little weird. Hmm. Maybe this card doesn't make a ton of sense here. Five, six. All right, I guess we try that. How many lands? 25. You like that? 26. Okay, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's go lands. So we need red and white pretty early. But then green green can fish out all of our basics that we need, right? This could be a little awkward on the mana, I'm not going to lie. 
probably just focus green and white for the most part and then splash red yeah i think that's the goal so green and white are going to be the main so i can get down the majority of our yeah okay so we need all of our need all of those red green will take these white red where you at where you at let's take three of these um and then we need some we definitely need a lot of basics right so we need to keep the basics going uh we need probably another white let's go here red green white yeah we need all of those i think um definitely cut back on the red here because we need all the basics we can get for the uh the stopper okay uh we'll try this we'll try this and see what happens i i don't expect a lot on the first go around um <clears throat> I don't expect a whole lot in the first game. It'll give us a good look and insight though to how this is gonna feel. I really want to see how this card plays though, man. I'm, I'm super excited. Is your rank. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Sorry, I haven't been talking. Um, what's up, Jay? Uh, Lions Zero. Uh, even already said hi. The green dino that gives two green per turn. Ooh, that's a good option, actually. I should probably, yeah, I should probably throw that in here. Not a bad call. I go first. 26 lands. Do I trust my deck to get there? I mean, I have the lockdown. Hopefully, we'll see. White artifact with the hideaway. Yeah, lightning helix. I like lightning helix for early game just to keep us alive long enough to get, uh, you know, the six drop down and just, you know, close it out. Temporary lockdown move up to the dark side. Yeah, I think the lockdown is good because we're running only big things here. And all the big things um, are obviously not going to be affected by it. So there's our first lightning helix victim. Let's go. I guess I can just let that live, though. We have the lockdown. It, it falls in that category, right? Whenever legendary creature controls deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Well, now I got to I got to take it out. Gotta take it out. Another Helix is tough. That's awesome. Got to play against CGB. Oh, you saw that game? Yeah, we got to play against CGB. It was pretty fun. Alright, we gotta discard a card here. I think I'm gonna cut the Tyrant for the... The, uh... Dinosaur that gives you the mana like we were just talking about. I think it's a great idea. Uh, I'll hang on to the lockdown for now. There's really nothing they can do with the current state of things. They need to drop another creature here. There we go. Terror of the Peak's gone. That's tough. I will be taking their field. <clears throat> Outcast Trailblazer's nice. I think we're gonna do it, guys. I think we're gonna do the thing. Let's plot this bad boy. Let's plot this. Uh, discarding another card is tough, but I don't think we need a Lightning Helixes anymore, to be honest. Tear the Peaks. Sure. Looks like we're gonna be playing our our deck here straight up no um no shenanigans needed just some big threats coming down feeling good about that got the extra card but it wasn't exactly helpful nice honest rutstein enters the battlefield return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand creature spells cost one less to cast very nice you hit a flames i didn't need that 
I needed that. Um, I'm gonna go with the garden. Take out the Rutstein. Open up the lane for the attacks. All right, I think we might have this one, guys. It's looking good. It's looking good. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Tiny bones. That is a nuisance, I will say. It's got the death touch, which super problematic. All right, I'm gonna go tear the peaks here because if I can start, you know, blowing things up like the tiny bones, that'd be really nice. Give me a lightning helix off the top. That'd be clutch. Nope. But Terror of the Peaks is a 10-9, by the way, guys. Oh, by the way. They don't have the mana to really cast much of anything except for a Lightning Helix, which is cool. They're probably going to take out the Trailblazer with it, and I'm okay with that. Terror of the Peaks back in standard is crazy. Such a good card. Oh, they didn't even attack. That's a mistake, I think. Draw another card. And that'll do it. Good game, good game. All right, I mean, not bad, not bad. I think uh, a little bit of adjustments need to be made, I think, but not bad. The reach animation is wild. I know it was throwing me off earlier. Like I really didn't understand what was happening. I'm like, what's with the bow and arrow? <laughs> but uh, they really want you to know it's got reach. So that's cool. Yeah, I think I cut this. And I add dino. Uh, let's go. Not collected. And where you at? I think that was a really good call on the raptor. I like that a lot. Other than that, though, it seemed to have worked really well. We didn't even find Smuggler Surprise. If we did, we could have really, uh, I think, popped off. The mana is what I'm really concerned about because there's too many basics, in my opinion, but I need them for the, uh, the Stomper. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. Swayze, will this video uh, be up for everyone to watch uh, or members only? Won't be able to watch the whole thing. Have to go to bed. Hey, don't worry about it. No, we've been putting up the live streams lately for um, everybody. Um, I've been just, you know, leaving them open for everybody. So don't worry. You'll be able to watch it. One of the devs kept... Oh, I can't read that. Uh oh. One of the devs kept getting got with... Uh, Sneaky reach. Oh, really? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. All right, let's see if we can get let's see if we can get the uh, the big playoff. I'm going to start. I'm going to start recording these games and hopefully we can get a good video here. Guys, I've got I want you guys to specifically watch the Azorius artifact stack when I post it. That thing was insane. Absolutely insane. All right, what do we got here? Um, ooh, that's not great. Three temporary lockdowns without the mana to cast. Yeah, that's got to go, right? I can work with this. I can work with this. Let's do it. Rock, fall, veil comes down. And then we have double green for stomper. We have garden. The curve is just really beautiful here. So hopefully there'll be a target for the garden and it's not, you know, control or anything. Uh oh, blue land. <laughs> okay, there's targets. There are targets. Prototype is interesting. To tap an untapped artifact or creature you control, add mana. That is quite the interesting card. No counter spell, that's good. We're playing Hello Good Game, by the way. Uh, yeah, we'll get red. Maybe I should have grabbed white. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, but... Oh, it's Synthesizer. Okay, so this is an artifact build as well, and the Synthesizer is 
absurd. That's the card that ran the entire engine of my artifacts deck. So we're definitely going to have to take that out. That is 100% the target here. <clears throat> yep, yep. Underdog, thank you so much for becoming a member of the Marty Mob. I appreciate that very much. Appreciate you. Thousand moons. Um, Stomper doesn't really help us too much here. Temporary lockdown is pretty cool, but it's not the biggest of hits. I think I should probably go tear at the peaks here and try to start, you know, shooting down some of these bodies they create. We'll see. I don't know if Terror of the Peaks is going to quite get the job done, though, if I'm being honest. Uh, we are unable to find our big spell here, which is the... Uh, where is it? Smuggler Surprise? We still haven't seen that card yet. As soon as we get that card, we're going to be in business, man. Anthony, Anthony, I'll thank you in a minute, man. I really appreciate that a lot. All right, they're clearly going to flash in another artifact here. Uh, we're going to say no blocks. I'm not falling for that. I almost did. You almost got me, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so even if I hit another land drop here, I can't really turn on the, uh, the stomper. <clears throat> I'm very, very scared of that synthesizer, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. It is a very tough card to have to play against. But we shoot down this. We get in for the five. Big stop, man. Oh, no. Terror of the Peaks gets taken out. Okay, I see what their plan was that last turn. They didn't have a flashed in artifact. They had Seat of the Empire. God breathe. Thank you so much for the five, brother. Appreciate that. Dude, I really appreciate that very much. I'll read your guys' messages and stuff right after this game. I, I do appreciate you. Um, okay, so if we go with this and then Stomper, that's a pretty solid turn for us. Yeah, I think I like that the most. Stomper. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel really bad when we get, like, a really good card played against the opponent. You know, I've been there. I've been on the other end. It's not fun. Uh, poor hell of a good game, man. That's tough. And now all our stompers are going to be massive. Things are going well, man. I do need to get one more land, though, in order for... Uh... Oh, that's really good, though. That's really good. Crafted artifact. Okay, what does it become exactly? A 5-5 five, five, crew 1 tap. Two other artifacts you control. Okay, that's fine. Alright, that's tough. We're gonna have to play this for now. We are just lacking one singular land to get this job done, man. One more land, we can run over the opponent. They draw Mirex land, which is not good. That cruise for oh that cruise for one. I got the land. This is it, guys. I think we did it. I think we did it. We take out their only ability to block here. And we send the whole gang on through. Good game, my friend. Good game. That was a really good game. We, uh, we've won two in a row now with this thing, and we still haven't even hit the nuts yet, which is, you know, our, our surprise attack, but we still haven't got that yet. I'm really excited to see what happens when we pull that card, but good stuff, man. Guys, thank you so much for all the gifted subs. Anthony, you absolute mad lad with the five gifted memberships. I appreciate you, brother. Always gifting in the chat, man. 
please please show some love to anthony if you guys haven't already especially the guys who got you know those free gifts from him i really appreciate that a lot anthony and uh god breath thank you so much i think it's god breath i'm not sure how to read your name all the way i apologize but five dollars good to see they brought you into the early access again if you're here in the live chat like the video so this keeps happening dude you guys are amazing man thank you i appreciate that sorry if i was being a little more quiet than usual i definitely would have got to you guys a lot sooner but um I'm, I'm also recording at the same time so it's a little weird i don't know how to do that yet i don't know how to balance the two because the alerts are going to be invisible to the video so it might seem a little weird hey man how you how do you know if you're playing a bot or a human uh well this is the early access event so you're 100 percent playing humans no matter what but if you play rank mode you're playing humans the only time you're ever playing a bot is if you go into uh find a match you can actually see bot match here as an option and you in your play queue that's the only time you're playing this a bot is your rank <clears throat> so this is your rank hey swayze and if there's a human uh they time you out on purpose salty rope yeah right uh thank goodness in the early access event you don't get roped which is really cool it's all other content creators so you're never gonna get roped <laughs> that's always nice i'm really surprised how well my recordings all went today though man because these early access events i'm usually up to like one o'clock in the morning recording and they don't give us a lot of time today, so I thought I was screwed. But I actually am about to have my fifth video done, which is freaking awesome, man. I get to go first. Temporary lockdown is online. I've got the ramp. Yeah, I mean, this works really good. A lot of good removal here. This works fine. Up against Malone. I went against Malone now probably like, this will be like our third or fourth time today. I like Malone a lot. One, three. All right, I could always see to the Empire that away, which is really cool. Assuming they don't draw and put one, one counters onto it. Okay. Oh no, this isn't what I think it is, is it? I really, really hope this isn't the deck that looks to try to reanimate on four. If it is, I'm in trouble. Stomper is down. Oh my gosh, I forgot to hit record. Of course I did. Of course I did. <laughs> Classic. That's tough. All right, temporary lockdown's looking pretty good. Ooh, Terror of the Peaks. That's fun. But uh, I definitely think it's temporary lockdown for the time being, so I can get the two for one. <clears throat> Can't believe I forgot to hit record. Anyways, guess we can talk, though. So in MTGA, you're up against humans all the time. Yep, it's always humans. Yep, for the most part, unless you purposely choose the bot match. So if I go Terror of the Peaks, that's two mana left over. Not enough. So I guess we'll go here. Darn it. I hate when I don't hit record, man. People always think I'm always like editing funny on my videos and stuff. So I try to like keep the flow, but... Duelist of the Mind. Again. Terra the Peaks. I'll just hold on to the land like it's some sort of shenanigans when it's not. <laughs> Alright, Terra the Peaks can block really well against the Duelist, which is good. There's no damage hopefully being taken here. Oh, no! Okay, it's not what I thought it was. Interesting. What in the world? Oh my gosh, they hit two of our smugglers and we get a land. Of course we do. That's so unfortunate. Okay. Let's get the pressure going still. Keep it up. They do have the ability now to draw a boatload of cards with the engine. With all the blue mana they have. <clears throat> it 
It no longer can be blocked either, so that's that's pretty good. That's a card. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a really good card. Oh man, that's a GG. <clears throat> that's a GG right there. All right, we got him. I did not expect to draw my 12-12 Galta, that's for sure, but we'll take it. Are there auto deck builders with the decks you currently own? Um, is there a way into the process? I'm not good in manual deck building as it should be. Uh, yeah, every single deck list that we post on the YouTube channel, there's usually a link in the description that you can go check out. You click that, it'll take you to what's called Aether Hub. It's like a website with all of the linked deck lists and you can just copy and paste it. You can hit export. To arena and you just copy paste it right into the game it's pretty cool uh real quick I, you sound like you might be newer so i want to make sure i help you with that so right here there's a little button at the very bottom left hand corner you see this button that says import all you got to do is copy the deck list from that link in mtg arena format and then just come right to the game that after you basically copied it you know the text hit import and it will paste the deck right in the deck uh in this field for you so hopefully that's helpful What a match. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Get out of here. That's funny. That's funny. I have a feeling I'm going to be on a couple of clips for him uh, this week. He got me a couple times today. It's going to hit me with the Get out of here. <laughs> No, he did, he did get me a couple times, I think, Brandon. I can't keep track of who won what. I did beat CGB today, too, which is pretty cool. I beat a lot of really cool big names. You know who keeps kicking my absolute <laughs> is uh, Ash Lizzle. I, every time, I've gone against her like three or four times, and she smoked me every time. Um, seems like she's had the nuts every game, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, Stomper, I got... Uh, technically a white source off the stomper which leads to the helix this is a fairly scary keep here i think i try it though i'm gonna try it i got double green so i can't be too stingy with that still unable to find our smuggler surprise All right, temporary lockdown is going to be really good against this deck, I think. I think, I think. It's so far it is, but um, I ran a deck just like this earlier, so it should be pretty solid. We're going to take a lot of damage, though, in these next couple of turns. Hopefully this uh, Lightning Helix can get me back on pace. Um, but, yeah, we need double white, so it's really going to come down to whether or not we find a white source off the top here or not. If we don't, we're probably going to get ran right over. That's the card I was worried about because that's the only card that temporary lockdown will not hit. So there'll be some leftover value for them if I do end up sweeping the board here. <sighs> you hate to see it. Not good enough. This is a 4-2 body that can block, right? So maybe we should go... No, 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 no. Go like so. And then hold the Lightning Helix up to take out... Oh, wait. I get the... Oh, my God. I completely... I completely forgot that gave me a land. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out so nice. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That worked out so nice. All right, I forgot that gave me the white source. I was gonna play it up as a blocker, leave my mana open for the lightning helix on the uh, tumble wag and make a block, but that works better. That works a lot better. I forgot when this comes in, you get that land drop, which is so sweet. Let's pretend I did that on purpose, right? I did that on purpose. All right.
I like the hesitation here. That means no immediate answers, right? Another bristly bill. Sure. That's a another easy lockdown answer. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I need to get the stomper down though, get the white source. It comes in tap though, which is the real issue. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one. Tough one to get another. Okay. <clears throat> so let's just do this. Uh, let's just, uh, I don't want to screw up my mana again. Let's do you, you, and you. <clears throat> just get a white source. Right? Maybe I should have gave myself a chance to draw into a white source here. Sure enough, I did, but it's a tap land, so it's okay. It works out. I'm going to kill this now before they have the opportunity to pump it any further or to target potentially another creature. And we can now swing through with our 4-4. Four -four. I think we got it, guys. With the temporary lockdown in hand, this is looking really good. <clears throat> I'd really, really, really like to see the smuggler surprise, though. We still yet to see that card. And that's what this entire deck is built around, so. There it is. <laughs> A little late. A little late to the game. Good game. Yeah, it would have been pretty cool though because what I could have done here too is I could have used a smuggler surprise and I could have um, milled myself out at instant speed next turn. And then I could have grabbed two creatures from the graveyard. And then I could have played Galta and then dropped those two creatures on the field, which would have been equally as, equally as awesome. But GG. Uh, give me one second, guys. You might hear my voice twice here from the previous game. I forgot to mark this other one. There we go. I gotta mark those so I know which what. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I did record that time, Jason. Thank you. <laughs> Plus one, plus ones. Yeah, dude, we have our own plus one, one deck and uh, we popped off earlier with it. The Bant Counters deck was crazy. We got we got Bant Counters this week, Artifacts, five color nonsense, which was really fun. Probably our least well-performing video as far as wins and losses go, but still, I think it's a very powerful deck. I think we just had a bad run. Um, and then Yoink. Actually, it might be reversed. This, the Yoink might've been the one that was bad. One of these was not great uh, as far as wins and loss ratio, but they were both so much fun. Uh, and the game that one of the games we lost was just like we drew nothing but lands, but Yeah, he got a pretty nutty draw, but we had the we had a good answer for him How's my day I'm doing really good 1983 I'm doing really good man. Thanks for asking. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, the Trailblazer was definitely the right play no matter which way you sliced it. I'm just glad that I I saw the secondary option. I did I completely forgot about the land. Thank you, Braden. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I I can't lie to you. Uh going against CGB, I was super nervous. You're gonna see in the video, I was like really nervous to make a misstep. Yeah, I played against Legend VD a couple of times today, too. Um, he's not the first one to concede. I mean, that was pretty much a shut, uh, open and shut ending there, so the concede was cool, but... What's going on, Zephyroth? How you doing, man? Well, while we're waiting on this, guys, I do want to say thank you once again to everybody who's, uh, you know, 
We have a uh, new member, Underdog. Thank you so much for becoming the member. We have Anthony with the five memberships, Gifted Man, and Godbreed. Thank you so much, guys, for all your support. It really does mean an absolute ton. And sorry if I'm not super chatty right now when I'm locked in. I'm, for the people who just popped in, I am recording a video right now. So I'm going to be kind of locked in and jumping back to you guys during the breaks. I don't know what's taking so long. These queues sometimes, sometimes these queues go forever and sometimes they're really fast. Let's back out and try again. I'm surprised at how well this is playing even without, um, even without our uh, spree card. Why do I keep, Smuggler Surprise. I keep forgetting that card's name. New cards, it's gonna be hard for me to remember. You got Mythic? Let's go, dude. Nice. Dude, I'm telling you guys, Standard is going to be so much fun with these new cards. I don't know what other streamers are saying. Maybe you guys can let me know on the insights. But I've, I, as far as events go, I don't think I've had this much fun in an event ever. Like, usually the events have, like, one or two decks that become immediately, like, super popular. And then everyone plays them. And it's, like, it's just, like, Standard. The meta forms like that. And then uh, the event becomes a little bit boring. But everybody's running different things. And it seems like there's a lot of really cool things to play. So I'm thinking that's going to lead to uh, some good stuff on uh, standard. Oh, it's Ash Lizzle. Uh oh, I got cooked the last couple times. Uh, this opening hand, of course, I get a bad opening hand. Let me see here. So we got temporary lockdown on three, but with no third land drop. Of course, we got our smuggler surprise, but we get two of them. Three mana mill four cards put up that man. I could get lands through the smuggler surprise, which is very helpful. I guess we try. Uh, we haven't had the surprise yet, so I suppose we give it a shot. Skeletons again. Could have swore she was playing that earlier. Give me a red land just to make my life a lot easier, please. Make my life so much easier. Daniel, thank you, man. I appreciate the gifted memberships, man. I'll get to you in a minute. Thank you. Tiny Bones. Tiny Bones is a scary card, but not when the graveyard's empty. It's just a 1-1 one, one for now. Oh, this is the second time we've seen this sort of combo, huh? It's a pretty cool little one-two combo, I can't lie. Um, I need another land. It, it literally just comes down to that. Can we find our third land drop? If we do, we're in good shape. If we don't, it's bad luck for us. I think I'm running 26 if I remember correctly. Uh, discard a card. Let's discard... Probably you. They draw another card. They're not able to play anything from our graveyard, though. They found a land drop. No, they didn't. Okay. Give me a land drop. Oh, you're kidding me, dude. Not like this. I don't want to lose games like this. This just feels terrible. Okay. That really sucks when it comes down to that, where it's like, you draw it, you pretty much shut down their whole field. You don't. You're probably gonna lose. I mean, we're not we're not in dire strengths or anything. It's not like we're we're cooked here or anything, but it just feels bad. They still haven't hit a land though, which is fantastic for us. Um, Tiny Bones has no targets. They keep drawing cards though, which is a frustrating situation for us. But yeah, maybe it's temporary lockdown. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if they're going to play any more one or two drops. If they would have, they would have probably done so already. So let's just take her field here. All of those things were legendary too, by the way. So they're probably going to have all three of those cards replaying again this turn. <laughs> yeah, no surprise there. All right, I'm going to play this and I'm going to go for the lands.
There we go. That's what I need right there. Let's get red. There we go. Now we're playing magic, guys. Now we're playing magic. We're about to hit the big smuggler surprise. And that'll be really fun. <clears throat> That's a card. Committing a crime, they get the treasure. Okay, another red white source. I think the obvious choice here is to just take this out and <clears throat> gain that life back. Do a little ramping. And then we gotta hope and pray that our top deck on this next turn is just something just absolutely gnarly. Something that <clears throat> pairs with the brawler because if we can Galta in the next turn, the smuggler surprise, it's going to be a good time. All right, we'll take it. I will take it. Uh, do you want to trade? I don't mind trading. I don't mind trading. All right, and if I if I understand correctly, the stack the way it's gonna work is the brawler should give the gall to counters. I would hope. Just in case, though, let's go ahead and change the auto order triggered abilities here so we can choose that for ourselves. All right, this should be a really good turn for us. I hope. Fair enough. That's ten damage. I want to give him the least amount of time to react here, so... Let her play out her mana, hopefully, here. Okay. Ash Lizzle. This could be her last play, or it could be the win. Uh, I was hoping she'd commit more. Alright, uh, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like it. Giving them hexproof and indestructibility, I think, is going to be the, the trick here. Yes, that's what I want. That order. That order is good. Okay, so Galta not going to get the counters, I don't think. Is it? It is. Okay, it is getting the counters. Nice. I had a bad feeling in my stomach about that. All right, we still win though, right? 15 damage. Boom! Let's go. Okay, we got it. Whew. Let's go. Thank goodness we drew into that hulking raptor. I knew we needed another creature for Galta to hit there to make that really worthwhile. That was good stuff. Ooh, that was a tricky one. <laughs> All right, let me mark that one, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it, man. I know it's a weird day. Uh, these days are kind of weird. They're fun for sure, but they're a little weird with the uh, recording at the same time as streaming. I hate it. Ash loves her tiny bones. I know. I've, I've played her like three or four times. That's probably the fourth time today. And uh, it's been, I think, every deck so far. Uh, back up here. What did I miss again? Daniel with the five gifted memberships, man. Daniel, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that. Dude, I really appreciate you guys for being so supportive, man. That means a lot to me. Thank you for this, uh, those memberships. It's going to go a very long way. I appreciate that. And everybody, if you got gifted a membership, be sure to thank Daniel for that. If you haven't already. <clears throat> At the beginning of the event, it seemed that everyone was playing Demir, but now it seems much more diverse. Yeah, everyone, I think, jumped on Mono Black right away, including myself. I jumped on it immediately. I was trying to do the Blood Letter one-shot deck. It actually wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be completely broken, but it wasn't. So I, I jumped off that pretty fast, but everyone seems to be playing um, Skeletons um, early on. I think everyone pretty much got their videos on that, though. <laughs> Swayze has made my favorite band deck this, uh, this standard. I love hearing that, man. I hope it's the counters deck because we're going to be doing that again very soon. 
Oh, the Tammy of three blind mice? Yeah, so much fun. Surprise! Yeah, right? Surprise! <laughs> Yeah, keeping the two lander and missing the land is brutal. That, that honestly, no worst feeling. No worst feeling. I always more impressed with a clutch win uh, versus Stomp Fest. Jason, what's going on? All right, sweet man, let's go. We just finished your fifth book today. <laughs> That's absurd. I've been playing the flash deck too. Oh, dude, the flash deck is so good. I've been, yeah, I've been rocking that one. I don't like how long it takes to get wins though. I'm, I'm trying to obviously rank faster, but it's a really good go-to deck when you want to hold your position on, on Mythic or whatever. <sighs> Sorry guys, give me one second here. All right, longer queues, longer queues, and uh, it seems to be getting longer as the day goes on. Dude, I took an allergy pill today too, and it was helping a lot. Seems to be wearing off though. Making Jace's with Tamio and three blind mice is sick. I'm making like multiple Jace's, like uh, the mill Jace. You also did a Bant life gain that I dig with, uh, oh, Lashana. Yeah, I was actually working on another one of those recently. Um, shout out to Watts. Watts gave me a really cool idea for a Selesnia life gain deck that I turned into a Bant deck. It didn't quite, it didn't quite pan out. All right, we got MTG Malone again. Um, I've got an interesting hand. I've got the Smuggler Surprise again for the land um potentially here so i think i'm gonna try it but we don't have any white mana which could end up haunting us just kidding magic's easy did i hear jace oh there he is you summon decomposed <laughs> oh shoot i forgot to hit record again gosh darn it dude gosh darn it i'm so dumb sometimes oh my gosh dude we would have had like a full video done already if i didn't screw this up I'm so, I, dude, I knew it was going to throw me off. I knew playing and trying to get videos done while streaming was going to throw me off. All right, well, temporary lockdown not looking like it's going to be relevant. I don't think. Okay. I think instead I'll probably just go fetch a couple of big creatures here. So what does that do exactly? Uh, whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter target creature. All right, we'll take you and you. Uh, I think I still have to try the surprise because I need to find some creatures here. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess, I guess pass the turn. I have to try to hit the smuggler surprise to find me two more creatures. Just not working out here. I'm trying to discard that darn thing. I don't think I'm going to need this, but I'm going to hang on to it just in case. I see Denik. I saw treasures and clues and all that stuff, so you never know. <clears throat> Uh-oh. This ain't going well, is it? That's crazy. Kellen joins up. It seems like a pretty absurd card. I probably should have blew it up with the Besaidu, but I did not realize how good it was. I didn't read it in its full. <laughs> I think I got full tilt when I realized I wasn't recording. All right, let's just uh, take this, I guess. 
four, five. Okay, let's go with this. And we'll take the biggest creature they got, which is the Denik. And then we got to hope we draw on just like the really sweet, really sweet top deck here. That's the goal, right? That's the goal. Brayden, thank you so much for the gifted membership, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for the gifted membership. You guys are just absolutely killing it on the gifted stuff, man. I appreciate that. And I know everybody in the chat does as well, man. Much, much appreciated. Oh, this is actually going to be a pretty sick smuggler surprise. Okay. We might actually still win this game somehow. That's crazy. We just drew a Terror of the Peaks, which is like beyond clutch right there. We'll see what happens. Okay. Here we go. That's a pretty absurd. <laughs> that's a pretty absurd turn. I'm not going to lie. And they've got Hexproof and Indestructibility, by the way. BTW. They could have some sort of protection here, though. Ah, that still works, though, right? Yeah, it's 12. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't quite cut it, unfortunately. All right. Cool beans. Let's go with this. Let's take this. Oh my god, dude. This deck. I, this deck is a, like. This deck is dumb. <laughs> and like the best way possible. This deck is dumb. Like it feels like I'm cheating right now. Like we haven't lost a single game I don't think yet. And yeah. Just ridiculous. <laughs> oh man. Oh, man. Got to roll. Catch you next week. Hey, no problem, man. Have a good rest of your day. Appreciate you for stopping by. Can't believe we forgot to record that. That would have been really, really freaking awesome. <sighs> Swayze mods the game to push uh, a pop-up saying, did you not hear? Oh, I know, right? No, I just, I don't do this, man. I don't normally go live and record at the same time. It's just new to me. This is brand new. Good to see you in the mob. What's going on, Acrate? How you doing? Dude, that was sick, though. That was so sick. Oh, we're playing Saffron Olive again. I'm going to record this time, guys. How about that? Let's try that out for a change. Okay, what do we got? We got the big, big boys, and we got the Smuggler Surprise, but do we have what it takes to get to where we need to go? Uh, Mana-wise, I don't think so. I'm going to have to take a Mulligan there, which really hurts the soul. Uh, Tear the Peaks probably got to go here. I like it. I like it. Let's go. Red, white into red into lightning helix. Also, they play a body here that I can take out. Not quite. Not quite. Smuggler surprise though. Pretty nice because we can go ahead and obviously go fish out um, two creatures that we need down the road uh, by milling out some cards into the graveyard. Uh, enters the battlefield. If you cast it, exile target artifact or land territory it has all. Okay. So they're going to get the all, all the affected abilities of this. Oh, they can hit my land. Ooh. All right. I'm going to do this. They can hit my land. That's kind of absurd. All right. Well, we've got... <laughs> A problem here, guys. <laughs> we got a little bit of a problem here. We, uh, we're a little flooded. We're a little bit flooded here, but it's okay. We've been playing so well so far, you know. 
Brody, thank you, brother. I'll, I'll, I'll get to you in a second here, my guy. Thank you. So this is just straight up. This is just straight up um, land destruction. That's pretty cool. I can't use another smuggler surprise there. Just not, not going to happen. They keep attacking my red sources too, which is really frustrating. All right, we finally drawn to a creature. That's helpful. Probably going to end up taking an L here. It is what it is. <clears throat> boombox. Uh, sacrifice boombox. Destroy up to one target artifact. Up to one target creature and up to one target land. There's a lot of land destruction this time around, huh? I wish I would have seen that. I would have had some fun with that earlier. Did not see that. Nice. Firewater. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Okay. My turn. More red mana is great, but is it going to get blown up? That's the question. <laughs> They're not doing a whole lot other than blowing up my lands at the moment, though. That's kind of cool, too, because that's a ramp spell, too. You're taking my land and you're ramping. That's actually really good. <clears throat> I like that a lot. Okay, here we go. They're doing the thing. They are doing the thing, guys. The land destruction thing. That's... That's wild. I like it so very much, but I am very upset that it keeps happening over and over and over. I would like it if they could just chill out on my red sources. Maybe maybe aim for a green one once in a while, you know? Let me try that. Try to aim for a green one this time. <laughs> Alright, if I can top deck some other really big hits as far as creatures go, that'd be nice. Oh my god, dude. Surely we're joking, right? Surely this is the joke. Yeah, go ahead. Blow up my land again. You're going to go for the red one again? Shocker. Shocker. <laughs> Dude, I would have been to the smuggler surprise like four times already. Uh, How annoying. Good thing we got flooded this game. This might have been the one game I wanted to get flooded. So who knew that it was actually going to work out? <laughs> I'm just waiting to see what they do with all this mana and land destruction. Like, where are we going here? What are we working towards, you know? Is it good enough to stop my Galta? Uh, yeah, my turn. Okay. Oh, I can take that out. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I can take that out. But that's a bit of a risk, too, at the same time. If I take that out and then they blow this up, they're going to get that back and then they're going to take the land. I'm, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit here. I'm going to risk it. Perfect. I'm actually happy they went that route instead. <clears throat> because now they can't get it back, right? So, that works. Alright, that's fine. Fine with me. Oh, it's their turn. I thought that was the end of their turn. <laughs> I got excited. Okay, I thought we had the smuggler surprise there. I need to get I need to get one more creature. At least give me like a tear of the peaks or something here that I can just throw a 12 fireball at their face or something. That'd be really helpful. Wouldn't even mind getting, uh, you know, our Rhino. That'd be pretty cool, too. Something helpful. Please, 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 please provide me with a little bit of grace here. I haven't seen much of any creatures, so the top deck um, likelihood of me hitting something good here is pretty high, I would, I would imagine. Another Galta? Not what I was expecting. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about to be eight. So I can actually play Galta straight up next turn. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the damage. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt like a mofo. But I can go Smuggler. Get two creatures, hopefully milled off the top, put them in my hand, and then Galta my way into the victory the following turn. I don't like it. I don't like it. It doesn't seem like it's gonna work, to be honest. They don't tap the moon. They don't tap the moon. Okay. Why did it have to be a Galta? Any other creature would have done just fine. Maybe I should play it. Maybe I should flash it in and block the 7-7. Seven, seven. Gosh, it's only 7 damage though. They're not going for the full amount. That's good. One card in hand. Do not let it be a sweeper, please. All right, come on. Come on, hit me two good cards here. Come on. Please, please, please. Okay, I got one good card. I'll take it. I guess it's better than none. And then hopefully Terra the Peaks comes off the top. Come on, please. Please, please, please. I'll take it. Sure. It works. It works. Let's go. Let's get, uh, do we have another red source? We should, right? They've blown up a lot of them, but I'm pretty sure we have another red. That's fine. Two, four, six. I still have enough here to trigger the Stomper's ability to attack and block. So we're still looking pretty good. I don't mind. I don't mind. I hope we do find another big one like a Brawler or a Terror off the top. That's the best thing we can top deck because we can go Galta again. And then from there, it should be a wrap. You would hope. You would hope. But... But these artifact tokens can get really big. Are they going to go for the moon tap here? It looks like they might. They don't, really. I'm not gonna lie, this might be one of the cooler decks I've seen today though. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tip my hat to that. Definitely one of the cooler decks I've seen. All right, what do you got for me, man? Looks like you're up to some shenanigans here. Oh boy, that's gonna kill a creature. But for six mana, one, two, three, four, five. They don't quite have six, do they? They don't, and I drew Terror of the Peaks. Oh my God, I drew Terror of the Peaks, guys. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> you're saying there's a chance. Okay, what if they double block here? Then I take three and then five. They actually both would die, right? Because this would go down to a five five after this dies. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Worth it. Double block me, please. Please double block me. They don't have a way to spawn an artifact on the field, do they? They do. They do have a way to spawn an artifact on the field. Okay. Didn't expect that. But I'm not tapped. So that does not help them. That deals five damage to attacking uh, or a tapped creature. Which typically when you're attacking, you are tapped. But not in that case. I think we got him, guys. I don't know how this, how this happened. But I think we got him. That's their win con right there. They should have got that a lot earlier. They would have been in a much better spot. All right. GG's, my friend. Ah, oh, I forgot they had that still. Okay. I guess it's not GG's yet. 
Not yet. You still got a little bit of uh, zest in your step, huh? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> zest in your step. All right, let's attack. I don't know what I'm saying. Shut up and go. <laughs> All right, get him down to two. I got a blocker. Chamil. That's going to create another construct. I still can go over the top, though. Chamil, though, I mean, if they find something nasty off the top with that, we might be in trouble. That's fine. Over the top. GG, let's go. Wow, what a game, dude. <laughs> that was crazy. I, I enjoyed their, their deck a lot, though. Really cool. All right, how much time has that been on all of these so far? So we got 10, 22, 27. I need one more game, I think. Can I squeeze in one more game in time? Sorry, guys, I'm in a big rush. Apologize. Um, oh, geez, let me uh, let me thank Firewater. Firewater, thank you so much for the 15 months. Not 34 months, but it's been a minute. I appreciate you, Swayze. Thanks for being awesome. No, Firewater, thank you for being awesome, brother. You have done... Way more than I have ever done for you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. I hope the family's doing well. I hope you're doing well, brother. Brody, same with you, brother. Thank you so much for the 34 months. Absolutely insane. And I hope you and your family are doing well also. I was thinking about you guys in particular yesterday quite a bit. I need to I need to hit you guys up pretty soon. Catch up with you guys. But I appreciate everything you guys do for me, honestly. Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. I need to get one more game in super fast here for the recording. And then I also got to maybe shoot like a breakdown part of it. So... Give me just a few minutes here because it's uh, going to end really soon, I think. All right, so what do we got in the opening hand here? Definitely not good enough to keep sending that away. This is good. This is okay. Um, I'll probably drop this. Smuggler Surprise, the flexibility on that card has been really, really nice. The fact that we're able to fill up the graveyard and then grab some stuff has been really helpful with Galta. And then... You know, obviously, the nuts, if it can flash in the Galta, is absurd. All right. Got a really good temporary lockdown brew in here. It's all you. Kaito. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. Thanks. I'll be taking that. That's a good find. All right, that'll shut down the draw for now. For now. I'm sure they find a way to get it rolling again. And they might even be a reanimator deck looking to do, um, what is it, the reenact the crime? They could. That's a really good card. I use that in my Yoink deck. It's absurd. But here's the, here's the trick though, guys. I'm gonna hit him with another temporary lockdown. And now they're going to have to sack a creature every single turn and take damage. It's actually not going to help them very much here, I don't think. Mostly because we have that lockdown. It's it's a bit of a shame. That's going to that's gonna hurt. Now the Greed's Gambit is going to hurt them. Unless they have another one. Now, what do we have here? Yeah, they threw away the second one. Really? I, I would think you'd want to run it, but I guess, you know, chancing it on the second one there and I have another maybe lockdown, that would be a really bad. Uh, so against trolling those. Oh my gosh, that is so good. That is so good. Oh wow, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> thank you. I needed that. Uh, I guess we pass. Uh, whatever face that tire pony can turn. Uh, okay, I guess we'll submit that. All right. I'm just trying to make sure I understand that card fully. I was so excited too. I was so excited. I'm talking all that trash about how that card's not going to be good for them. No wonder, because they were trying to get rid of it. Don't tell me you got another one of those. That would suck. I don't think we can recover from this, guys. 
Not unless I find another temporary lockdown off the top, which is very, very unlikely. Oh, there's a temporary lockdown right there. Yikes. I needed that. Okay. Um, Stomper. Or do we go this? Ah, Stomper, I think. Because the Stomper will have seven lands to work with, so it'll be, it'll be ready to go. Uh, discard seven. Oh man, I gotta be able to get Galta down next turn. I have to. This this gambit, dude. That's so crazy. I love it though. Yeah, they have another one too. That's crazy. Ali Aldrazi got us good. <laughs> yep. Go ahead and flip the Falcon. I gotta try that. First thing I'm doing when Standard becomes legal, I'm trying that. That is so cool. I know something you don't know. I went from playing what I thought was the coolest deck I've seen today to this is officially the coolest deck I've seen today. All right. That sucks. Good stuff, man. I was feeling real comfortable too. I was like, dang, we got him. We definitely got him, but they flipped the script on us quick. <laughs> All right, that was a uh, Naya ramp, we'll call that for now. We'll work on the titling of that later. Okay, now I just gotta shoot a breakdown and then we can have some fun. Let me shoot a breakdown and maybe we can show you guys another cool deck. If my allergies will stop, holy. Okay. All right. I like to do my breakdown standing up. I don't know why, just helpful. <clears throat> that was cool to see, record? Yeah, I recorded, no worries. No worries. And sorry, guys, I know it's kind of weird. Uh, this is not something I would want to go to a live stream and see because it's going to be in the videos and stuff. But I got to do a quick little breakdown. Apologies. Hopefully I can one shot this and not be look silly. Um, so how do I want to break this thing down and talk about exactly? Smuggler surprise, the main card. OK. Um, yeah. OK, I think we can do this. Let's turn off the music so that's not on there. Uh anything else I want to talk about or just that I think it's just that all right bear with me guys I got to do a quick recording and then we can have some fun what's going on everybody we're checking out a Naya ramp deck for you today it's going to be running Galta one of my favorite creatures that's going to allow us to spam a bunch of creatures on the card at or, let me start that over that was a rough start let's try that again um this, this usually takes me a little while, guys, so it's kind of weird doing this live. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Today we're looking at a Naya ramp deck with some brand new cards from the early access event. We went against a lot of streamers today. It's going to be a lot of fun. We played some really cool, uh, you know, creators I'm sure you guys are familiar with. And uh, we did so with this Naya ramp deck, and it worked really, really well. And it works around a single build around card here, Smuggler's. Surprise, this is what we kind of built this thing around. It's a one mana instant card. It's a spree card, which means you can invest more mana into it later to trigger, you know, different abilities on it. It's kind of a flexible play. But the two we're going to be focusing mostly on here is the milling four cards to pull back either two lands from your graveyard or two creatures. Or you could pay six mana, which is the golden ticket. And we're going to be able to play two cards at instant speed onto the battlefield creatures. Um, and if we have something like a Galta in our hand, we can unload the entire hand in a single turn at instant speed to hopefully win the game on the follow-up turn. And some of the creatures we're going to want to get onto the battlefield here today are going to be things like Rail uh, Railway Brawler and Terror of the Peaks. Both of these cards, when coming into the battlefield with other multiple 
creatures trigger um, different events, right? So the Brawler's going to put on some 1-1 counters to double up the power of that creature. And Terror of the Peaks is going to act as removal, basically burning out uh, whatever targets you need to burn out uh, to get off the field to attack in the following turn to win. So there's a lot of synergies there between these three cards. You, you drop a Galta, you hopefully unload a couple of these. You get, you get extra power, extra damage, things like that. We ramp along the way with things like Stomper and the Garden, which can also remove some th uh, threats off the field. And because we're a deck that's running only big threats, three and above, Temporary Lockdown is the perfect removal sweeper spell for this deck because obviously the aggro decks, they're not going to like that. And especially when we don't have anything that's going to be taken away. Why not, right? And then some for early some early game to kind of keep us alive. We got the Lightning Helix, which can offer some removal early game as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the deck in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll jump right into it. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys at the end. Peace. There we go. We got it, guys. Holy cow. That's so nerve-wracking when you got a live audience. That's crazy. I did not realize I was going to be that nervous. You guys made me sweat. You guys made me sweat. But I had to do that now because once they take this game away from us, this early access account, this all goes away and I can't show you guys the cards anymore. So I have to do the breakdown now. Let's go back to the seating position. Okay. While the desk is coming down, awkwardly. Uh, which deck do you guys want to see me run real quick? We got Artifacts, we've got the Yoink Multicolor, or Bant Counters. Which deck do you guys kind of want to see? I'm kind of leaning towards the Artifacts. I really want you guys to see that deck. It is pretty wild, man. It is a wild, wild uh, deck that's really powerful. By the way, I, we've got five videos to post for this week. So I think there's going to be six days in total that we're not going to have access to these cards. So there might be one day, I think the following Tuesday, we probably won't have a video for you guys, but uh, tomorrow through Monday, we will definitely have some videos for you guys to do or to watch. So be really fun. This deck was an absolute bust, by the way. Mono Black did not pan out. This is awesome behind the scenes, Swayze. I uh, love you for this. Thanks for including us all uh, on the fly. Much respect, brother. Appreciate you, Brody. Thank you for uh, understanding and not making fun of me too hard. <laughs> Smooth? Yeah, it was it was okay. I, I usually, you know, it's funny. I was like, I locked in because you guys were watching. That usually takes me. Here's the real behind the scenes. These other creators are really good at that stuff. I'm not. I'm, I think it's because I'm like a super perfectionist. And if I stumble over my words or say something out of order, I restart. I do that like five to six times on average per video. So that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Bant? Oh, you guys want to see Bant? Artifacts are... Okay, Artifacts are Bant. Bant? Hey, Bant's getting a, a couple of votes. All right, okay, it's between Artifacts and Bant. Let's try to do both. Let's do one game of each. Let's do one game of each. The Bant deck is a little bit faster, so let's run that one real fast, and then we'll jump into Artifacts. This is your rank. <clears throat> see if we can't get some After Ws. Victory, it'll improve. Feels weird that I'm done for the day. That's crazy. I'm usually up till 1 o'clock on these days. This is good. This is good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Cards come out on Tuesday, so it should be good there. Wednesday for me. Yeah, so I would technically need to have, like, if I if I could, I'd technically need to have uh, six deck lists because I'd like to post on that Tuesday, come home, record, and then have a video, obviously, for the following day. So it's not going to pan out in that way, which is unfortunate. There's going to be one day we skip. Maybe I'll just skip Sunday. Everyone's kind of relaxing on Sunday. Maybe I just won't post a video on Sunday. All right, let's go with you. And you. This little combo is crazy, dude. Bristly Bill is broken. Artifacts? Don't worry, we'll get artifacts next, I promise. I'm starting a podcast, so I was taking notes. <laughs> You're taking some notes? Uh, that's good. Dude, I, I want to I wanna start a podcast one day. I don't think I ever will, but I've always wanted to. But I don't really I don't really enjoy listening to single-person podcasts, so I'd, I'd like to have, like, a partner. But that, I think that's my biggest problem is I won't have a partner for it. But What are your thoughts on High Noon? I actually don't know the names of these cards very well yet, so you'd have to let me know what that one is, or I can look it up after this, but... 
Wait, High Noon is the one where you can only play one spell a turn, huh? Yeah, that card is good. If that's the card you're asking me about. I like that card a lot. I got played. It got played on me once today. So what you're saying is all you need to do is do all your breakdowns on live streams? No, you see, I like the reason I don't like to record while live streaming is because I like to give you guys separate experiences, right? Like I've been in, I've been in, uh, you know, other, ch other people's channels when they're live and stuff. And a lot of people try to try to, you know, just capture their, uh, videos through their live stream, kill two birds with one stone. But then the video comes out and I'm like, ah, I kind of already saw it, you know, or whatever. And, uh, I like to try to give you guys all different experiences. Um, people who are here, I want you guys to be the ones to say you saw something happen live and, you know, if, if someone wants to see that deck list, I, I'll post a video later in a whole different way. And I don't know, to me, it just makes more sense. Gives you guys, sorry, I'm trying to dial in my thoughts here. I hope you can understand what I'm saying because <laughs> I can't even articulate it, but I want it to be special. I want the live streams to be special for you guys. Um, you know, one time events completely separate from the videos. I don't want them to blend. All right, take action on that. We draw a card. We love that. Got some counter magic. Good stuff, man. Um, I think I'm going to hang on to everything here. I think we'll go with the mutation to counter because they're probably looking to play like their roots here pretty soon. Create X to two green creature or action number creature cards in graveyard. That's a really good card. That's something I'm going to want to counter. Send this on through. Definitely want to counter that. I think the mutation is going to get us the W here because I'm sure they're going to try to count, uh, play that out. We counter it and shut that down. And I don't know if they can recover from that. <laughs> That's fine. I only have one blue mana too, by the way. So we got to be really careful on how we do this. If we try to pump something, it's a, it's a one-time deal. I'll probably pump the prodigy so we can draw more cards down the road. This costs nothing for them to cast. So they're just kind of building up their graveyard right now to get this to the most amount as possible. Surveil two. Okay. Are they out of one mana spells? Looks like they are. Okay. So we go with two counters placed here. Oh, I always do that. I always do that. No, no, no. We target. Two counters, counter you. Dude, I hate that it asks you which spell to counter. I have screwed that up so many times by hitting zero. Ooh, that was close. You would have seen me cry. <laughs> you would have seen a grown man cry today. Let's go! We got him. All right, GG's on that one. Let's go. Dude, we're almost to gold. Dude, we should try to hit Mythic today. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine we got the Mythic on other creators. <clears throat> you should go back to live streams and grab the games you didn't record um it would be pretty easy to do if you can download your own videos yeah i was thinking that too um but i, I it's fine it, it ended up being okay we ended up getting more games down the road all right we can do the artifacts deck now hopefully we don't get kicked off i don't know what it's going to look like when they end this event i've never been on while they've ended an event i don't know if it's going to kick us off mid game or what but it's supposed to end at six so we'll see what happens if you need a six decks why not build a plant tribal like jund with roots or something i just don't think we're going to have time to record another deck um from what my email said the event ends right now so i don't know we'll we're going to play it by ear. I'm an Aussie sample, but thank you. Love this country. My friend is doing it with me. Uh, it's going to be health and wellness podcast. Nice. That's awesome, Brian. That's very cool, man. You got to find something you love and something you love sharing, man. That's awesome. Health and fitness is, uh, you know, something everyone can get behind too. Very wide range of people that are sure I'm going to watch that. 
let me know when it's up and running. Uh, you know, give me give me the information maybe in Discord on the private message. I'll uh I'll be a subscriber. Have you tried the new one white white counter spell or counter spell creature in your flash deck yet? Counter spell creature. Uh is it a new card? If you're talking about a new card, uh no, I haven't. I can't think of one that's in standard now though, so it's probably gotta be a new card you're talking about. Um, okay. I get to go first with an interesting hand. Uh I think it's keepable. I've got to get lost early, right? High noon would be good in that deck. Uh the deck just played showing people a little down slowing people down in smuggler. Yeah, that's true. It'd be a really good answer to that for sure. Because they were playing like four cards at a time. I hate that too. I've made that mistake too. Oh, you mean the counter spell stuff? Yeah. That's brutal. It's brutal. Swayze adding one extra win to the legendary six beat today. Oh wait, who did I just play? Did I play somebody I had played before? Don't tell me that was Malone again. We've been playing a lot of the same people, which is kind of strange. Maybe this event was a lot smaller. Does, it, does anybody know if like this event maybe got smaller? That's probably what it is. Because I, I thought it was odd that I've been I, like, this is like the fourth time I played Hello Good Game. I've been playing Malone a lot. Um, my guess is they have the new group working behind the scenes, right? They probably like, they probably only invited, um, you know, certain people and left some others out. I hate when it happens too, because they don't give the smaller creators like the means to like reach out and get in. I, I, the only reason I hate it is because I used to be small for a long, long time. And I was trying to get into these events for years and years and years and not, not that long, but like two years, I was trying to get into this thing and it just was not happening. And I'd have to watch it on the outside every time, even though I made the videos and did my thing and it sucks, man. I hope everybody who was in it last time got a chance to come back, but I haven't seen a lot of names that, you know, like the smaller creators and stuff. That's a really cool card, by the way. Pillage the Bog is a really, really nice card. Two mana, basically find whatever you want. Okay. All right, we haven't quite got the deck rolling yet, but we do have the synthesizer, so hopefully that'll get get the ball rolling here because I can go synthesizer into the might stone weak stone create another construct the card we're really looking for here guys is the uh what is it the nexus of becoming if we hit that card this deck becomes lethal that's fine Tiny bones. Oh, that's a sweet top deck right there. I can't even lie to you guys. That's a sweet top deck because I'd rather use this might stone weak stone to draw. Yeah, I'll probably take that for sure. All right, cool. We are chilling. Let's go. <clears throat> A lot of good answers so far. Tiny bones. Oh, that's a card. They're really going to hate me. <laughs> They're going to hate me and I don't blame them. All right, I guess we can do this and put this back on, by the way. So we're not like slowing down the process here. All right, cool, cool, cool. We got a six, six out there now. And we've got five artifacts now too, so we can kind of dump the uh, Moonsmithy here into a land. Tiny Bones Jones. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, it's tapped. It is what it is. Uh, we'll play the island. We'll play this and look to draw two more. Seems good to me. 
seems good to me. And then that's still enough mana here to do some stuff. Hopefully we can find like another exiling effect. It's like they knew I was asking. Guys, this deck though has Mondrak. It has Mondrak and it has the Nexus. When those two cards are going off at the same time, like this is like nothing compared to what it can do. We had one game where we hit somebody for over almost, we almost hit hit them for 300 damage. And we had like 30 tokens on the field that were all like 25, 25. It was crazy. Oh baby. And we got it. We got the Nexus. Please let me top deck a Mondrak. Please let me top deck a Mondrak. Oh, if only. If only. If only, if only. Well, Tiny Bone's definitely going to block the 10 10, you would think. Yeah, the Nexus really makes this deck what it is for sure. Once the Nexus hits, it's it's a wrap. It really is. You get both these cards going at the same time, it's... I'd say they've dialed in all of the best creators for better content. Yeah. That's fair. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I was really nervous when I signed on today because all I've been playing is the heavy hitters and it's been, it's been scary. <laughs> My heart, like at the beginning when every name that pops up is like LVD, CGB, Crokies, like your heart starts to pound because you're like, dude, you, you're not just playing the creator. You're playing the creator knowing they're also streaming for hundreds of other people at the moment. So you're like, do not embarrass yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> Have you played CGB today? I did. I've only played him one time. One time. One of the guys I watch has 6k subs on YouTube and I didn't and didn't get it. Kind of stupid. Yeah, see that's what I'm saying. I I was in the same boat. I didn't I didn't get invited to this. Hello? Uh I didn't get invited to this event um until I think I was at like 10k plus subs like and it took a long long time and the last guy that was like running the behind the scenes for it um i think we're all d i think we're all dcing right now i think the game's over i think they kicked us out guys anyways uh because otherwise he'd be getting the rope right now but he's not so i don't think he's here anymore i think we got disconnected uh but anyways um yeah it took a long time to get in and they they got this new guy that let everybody in he was super super awesome he was like really really nice but apparently during the uh the, the layoffs last couple of months ago whenever the new year hit they um they got rid of him so they got a new team in on that front so i don't know how it works but This is the coast making rest in peace and mythic is ridiculous basically a sideboard in every white deck and maybe even main deck rest in peace i've seen that card that's crazy i didn't get invited to the event which i was kind of bummed about but i always enjoyed watching it he's frozen i don't think he's frozen because he would be getting a rope right now I hope he made CGB cry. I don't know what his reaction was, but we had a really good game against him. All right, we might have to just concede and back out of this. Yeah, I think the games, I think they, uh, I think they closed the servers. I think that's a wrap on the early access event. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, I'll tinker around with it for a second here. Maybe we'll jump over and play a couple games on standard. I could probably go, I could probably go for another couple of, uh, you know, probably another hour, seven o'clock. We'll shoot for 50 more minutes of streaming for you guys. Cause I know I got on late, so. Uh, they won't let me concede though. So I'm gonna have to control alt delete this. But if I do, I need to make sure I'm signed out, I think. Hold on guys. I may have to type in like username and password stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, what's the deal, yo, man? 
task manager. Sorry if I get a little laggy here. I'm trying to shut some stuff down. Can someone do me a favor and jump over to another stream and just like someone who's been streaming the event and see if they're having the same thing or if I should log back in and it's something on my end. If not, no big deal. I'm just curious if someone could do that real quick for me because I'm curious to know if I should jump into the uh, event again. If it was just my game lagging there out, out for some reason, I don't think it was, but um, or if I should jump into the other account and just. Oh, they all logged out. OK. Nice. OK, cool. We'll jump into my regular account then. Yeah, I figured as much. That's why I didn't start another video. Alt 54. <laughs> Uh, log out. And nope, that's not me. That's my other one. Is that right? Boom, username and password first try, dude. You guys ever type username and password and you got to try like four times because you got like four different ones. <laughs> You're going to head out now. All right, Airman, you have a good rest of your night. Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate you. All right, we'll play some standard and see if we can do some ranking up, man. We're, we are, I don't, I don't think we're too far away from, uh, from Mythic. Nice, dude. I'm so glad that we got our five videos done. I really didn't think it'd be possible, but we pulled it off. All right. Blue, black, blue, green, white, blue, probably do white, blue. Reset that. All right. Let me see what decks I had. I can't even remember. My brain is so on the new cards right now. Let's just run some flash. Let's just run some flash and see if we can get some W's. The other guys finished streaming earlier. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, they probably went the reverse route. They probably uh, decided to get off early to do all their breakdowns and stuff. Not me, man. We do it face to face. <laughs> I needed to make sure early on in the morning that I was playing the cards and getting used to them and trying to like limit my mistakes before... Uh, before we went live because I wanted to make sure I understood what was going on. I was I'm a mess in the the first the first few games. I am an absolute mess in those events because uh, you know me guys. I'm I'm behind on everything. I'm I don't get to study as much as these guys because of my full time job. I don't get to see the new cards like I looked at the new cards for the very first time yesterday. I studied for about two hours, went to bed, woke up, studied for another hour and then I I hit it running, man. And when I got on, everybody was already like slamming out the skeletons and I was like oh man it was tough why is your name Swayze good question uh the name is Swayze because uh I used to stream and play video games and make videos on things like Fortnite and Rocket League and Rocket League was like my favorite game and my name on Rocket League has always been Hatrick Swayze little play on words and uh, my YouTube channel was all of that. And I didn't, and I just switched to doing magic right down the road. And uh, it stayed Hatrick Swayze forever. And there was a, there was a turning point where we were kind of growing a little bit and I didn't want to be Hatrick Swayze for magic. So I was like, I got to change it, but I also don't want to change it so much that it confuses people. So I just took out the Hatrick and I stuck with Swayze and I thought it was a pretty cool name. Clean, simple, one word. Thought it'd be a pretty good idea. That was so cool. Swayze be like, hold my beer while I snap off an intro. <laughs> I'm glad you guys liked it. I thought you guys were going to roast me for sure. I was like, uh oh, this is going to be a Swayze roast central, but uh, you guys have been we're super cool about it. Thank you. I was kind of already in the flow for it too. I had already done like three before I went live, so. Okay, that's not great. Let's, uh. Okay, my wife must just be getting home from work. Let's steal that and block the one, two.
Man, we are drawing very bad right now. Uh, no attacks. Let's pump this up though a little bit because if I can stop it from being burned out by their case, I would really like that. But now we missed one land, or yeah, we're not. We're not gonna stop them from burning it out. If they have a case, it's toast. Which is really unfortunate. If we had gotten two 1-1 one -one counters there, we could have hit the get lost on one of their creatures and stopped the case from actually getting us. But man, we still have 140 people here right now. I know some of you guys are probably AFK, but thank you guys. I appreciate it very much, man. Cannot believe that these days, how many people show up for these streams. It's so freaking cool, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hello, yes. I would, uh, I would like to report a murder. Yeah. Send help immediately. <laughs> Poor Boros. Poor Boros. They're gone, man. Their entire game gone by one card. That's the danger of running that. Uh, let's go ahead and just allow them to have it, gain some life. We've got to get lost. I need to find a Kraken though. This game's not over unless I can find a way to continue the value because right now our hand is not super great. That's something I want to get rid of. Why do I keep drawing lands? Like, dude, we get it. Maybe we send back the knight. No, if we send back the knight, that's too much value. What do we do here? I think it's this, actually. Let's do this. Let's blow up the vault, or the, the war leader's call. And then hit it with this. Shazam. Because if I send it back as an attacker to the top of their deck, they can replay it again, and they can uh, get some more convoke value out of it. So that's not good. All right, Inspector. Another great card, but not too worried about it at this point. Not too worried. Dude, if I draw another land, I'm gonna get really triggered. What do we got here as far as how many lands? I got eight. All right, bet. Bet, bet, bet. Imagine doing early access for content creators just playing the same old decks as standard. It happens, dude. That, that actually does happen sometimes. Great play. Exactly the line I saw. Yeah, right? Let's send you back. Unfortunately, this comes in tapped. I really wish it didn't, but... But it is what it is. They clue token, sure. Uh, they could very easily, you know, recover very easily from this though because I am not drawing well at all. That's a good card. I mean, it's helpful. It is helpful. Let's just leave this up for blocks and then look to scry and gain some life here, I think. Love your content, AZ, for the win. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Shout out, AZ. Oh, man. If you're from AZ, though, and you're a Phoenix Suns fan, it is a very scary time. It's a very scary time to be an AZ. <laughs> At least for Suns fans. Uh, That's a suspect, but I guess they probably want to draw a card. Yeah, they're just trying to draw a card here. That's fine. I would have imagined they want to go wide here, but to each their own, I guess. I guess. <laughs> You're so lucky I didn't draw that land game. I would have thrown this computer out the window. All right. I can work with the Wandering Emperor. All right, send the dogs, send them. 
Oh, you son of a gun. All right, we don't love that. Are they gonna block though? Are they gonna block the three one? What's your plan exactly? Yeah, I was gonna say, you should probably leave the attacks ready to go on the follow-up, right? Dude, that war leader's call pinging me for damage is kind of gonna be their your win con, I think. They still haven't found their goblins yet, but they don't have the artifact anymore to sacrifice for the goblins. They've been using them all up, so that's good. Hopefully that top deck they just hit was the goblins. That'd be fantastic. Let's gain a little bit of life here. Keep me alive. Keep me fresh. That seems like something you probably should have played with the haste side of things on the attack, which would have been bad for us. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do that. Yeah, I don't think we can pull this off, guys. Unless we find like a temporary lockdown again. They go for the card draw. Good God. Um... Yikes, I think we're done. That's crazy. How do we lose this game, dude? How many lands are we gonna hit? So if I put a 1-1 counter here, that's not good. It's gotta be a body. It's gotta be a body. That's the only thing I can think of right now is a body. Um, Guards, to me. And then block, I mean block, block, block. Three, four, five, yeah, we're dead. That's crazy. Cannot believe we lost this game. I can't believe we lost this game. LOL, are you running a 30 lander? No, dude. I think we're running like 25 maybe, I think. There's so much extra card draw on this deck. I didn't expect to see that many lands, that's for sure. While they're killing me, let me poke my head out the door and just say hi to my wife who just walked in there. Just got it home. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go mute for a second. She's gonna come in here. I'll say hi to her. Let her know how the day went. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk about it after. Okay, we're up against Mono Red, of course, and we're going second, I believe. Fun stuff. Uh, 
think I'd rather counter whatever nonsense they're going to play here, which is probably going to be Monstrous Rage. Actually, we'll send it back after the fact, right? Okay. Okay, dude. Why you got to be weird, man? Why you got to be weird, man? What is it early access to? Um, so basically we had early access uh, to the brand new cards uh, for a standard one to come out. The out, uh, Outlaw... Sorry. This, this opponent is confusing the heck out of me. I don't know what they're doing. Outlaws of Thunder Junction is a new uh, set being released on Tuesday on Arena. So they gave us access to it a little bit early uh, as streamers to kind of show off in, in live streams and stuff. All right, they lightning strike that away, but we still get the life gain off of it, which is fantastic. Both of these are really good. I'm going to keep both cards here. I probably shouldn't have kept the lore master, though. I don't know if we're going to have time to really sink into that. Got the wandering emperor, though. <clears throat> Does anyone know how to read lips? Uh, it wasn't anything crazy. She was just asking me if uh, when I'm going to be done streaming and uh, how much editing I have to do after this because I actually have a trip coming up on uh, tomorrow. I leave tomorrow. Uh, I go to Vegas with my my dad and brother and uh, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to edit all the videos and post them uh, so that they go out on time. So I'm going to be up a little bit later doing some editing, but still comparatively to the last couple of early access events, I'm definitely getting off easy here. So. She was just curious to know what times we were looking at for that. So when I get off, I can hang out with the fam and be a dad and a husband. Sometimes that gets pushed to the side, which is unfortunate. The opponent played that on their turn, which is fantastic. Dude, this is going to... I can't believe we're actually going to turn this around. I think we're gonna win this one, guys. I think we're gonna win this one. Mr. Mr. What's going on? Come on, lockdown. Yeah, right? Um, okay. Oh, they lightning strike. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's exile one of these. I don't mind. Let's exile one of these and then send the other one back. Send it back to the kitchen. Uh, was watching live and buying single card from OTJ right now? Uh, yeah, we take action every time on that, right? Pump this up. Attack. Fast and strike In the turn, we do have the whole breaker horror, I believe. Yeah, we have seven mana. Perfect. My water bottle's like right in the way of my land count, so I can't see. Shuffler has been mean to me all day, too. Yeah, I mean, that was a weird one. Definitely a lot, a lot of lands there. But we, we recover. We beat Mono Red here, I think. I'm still hesitating at buying single Jace. The new Jace and Pest Control. Oh, yeah, new Jace and Pest Control. Pro uh, probably price card will decrease. Yeah, I didn't see a lot of Pest Control today, but then again, the uh, early access event, you don't see a lot of Boros and Monos Red. So uh, I think Pest Control obviously going to be a lot better in the normal standard, but um, didn't see it a whole lot today. All right, we take out you. GG's. GG's. Maybe wait until the next big tournament. That's not a bad idea. 20 non-legendary are uh Aurelia, the law above on the field. We 20 non-legendaries? How did you pull that off? That's crazy. Six damage not on the face is weird. Nine now. I dipped out for a bit. Would Yaris work with the Galta deck? Oh, I'm not sure. I have to go back and, and check it out. Maybe. Uh, let me look at Yaris here real quick. Is Yaris a new one or an old one? Because if it's a new one, I can't look it up. But if it's an old one, and I'm just not recalling the name, I will let you know.
Yaris. Uh, other creatures you control have haste. Oh, yes, that would work. That's exactly what I'm looking for, actually. <clears throat> Whenever one or more face down creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Yeah, I mean, that would work. Gives everything haste. That's kind of what I was shooting for, so not bad. Channel update. Post vids to members a day early so we can uh, wreck people with your decks for a day. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, trust, Brandon, I have a lot of really cool ideas. Trust me. Uh, when, whenever I go full time and, you know, quit my other job, so many cool things are going to happen on the channel. You have no idea. I'm going to be working a lot with the members channel and like getting special perks to them and stuff. So that will happen probably closer to the end of this year. Oh yeah, Blob, it, it'll be a good time, man. I'll get it all done. It won't be too bad. Swayze, do you buy single cards? I used to when I used to play in tournaments and stuff, but not so much anymore. I haven't been to a uh, a game store in a while. Enjoy the trip, uh, trip dude. Uh, six vids on one day on a stream and you deserve it. Yeah, dude, I'm really, I'm actually really stoked. Most of the time I get off these streams, I'm pretty stressed out and stuff. I'm actually, I feel really light right now. Like I feel like I, I really accomplished some good stuff today. So I'm happy. And uh, the stream's popping right now. So you guys are awesome too. Thank you. Any new cards that you like? I love the new artifacts we got, man. Uh, that last artifacts deck we played, I didn't even get to show you guys like the pop off uh, version of it. Like when we get going with that Nexus, that Nexus card is incredible. So skeletons in green meta day one. Yeah, skeletons were 100% meta, dude. Those are going to be very, very dangerous in the future of standard. We're up against Boros and we actually have a hand that can do some stuff. You've been playing Jund and destroying with it? Oh, because you're giving everything haste? I don't like that it doesn't give itself haste, though. Uh, the recruiter, I think, might be better in that sense that it gives itself haste, but... <clears throat> Bring on August, October, Swayze full-time would be neat. Yeah, it'll probably be more towards, like, December. Um, it all depends. It really depends on my on my life and what happens. Uh, things change so often. I just, I couldn't, I can't promise anything, but um, my guess is probably more like december of this next year like right at the end of the year i'll probably take my final vacation from my pool job you know during christmas time and then i'll probably just call it there i'm getting my last vacation in though <laughs> i only get one vacation a year from my other job what's up swayze how goes it dude it's going great thank you so much appreciate you asking hope you're doing well as well I love static abilities. We'll get high noon workarounds. Uh, do we have anything for that? No. No, we do not. Uh, there's really no reason for us to worry about their graveyard, so we might as well play the flanker here to gain some life. Get Lost and the Emperor are both really great cards. I think we keep both of those. Pass the turn. Dude, we are sitting real pretty right now. Swayze, Piera or Hill or Justin? Oh, Justin Gates here, Holloway. Uh, Charles or Armin on USC 300. Um, hold on. <laughs> Piera, I want to say Holloway, but he, he didn't look too good against Dustin Poirier at that weight class. So I, Justin Gaethje's probably going to win that, unfortunately. Uh, I do love Justin, though. He's obviously from Arizona. Cool guy. Uh, I hope Holloway wins, though. Love that dude. And probably Charles. Those are my guesses. Uh, no blocks. I'll eat the damage. Hopefully I'll be able to watch those in, in Vegas. Uh, we're going to be busy, but hopefully we'll be able to watch that. Dude, another one. 
All right, we got to land. That's clutch. Let's do... Let's do this. And temporary lockdown. See ya, Boros. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I'm so toxic to Boros players. Sorry. I try to hide it, but sometimes it slips out. <laughs> Do the new uh, Rakdos, all mercenaries have haste card, should be good too. Dude, I, I'm pumped for the new set coming out. Like, after this event, things look really, really good. More, uh, more videos on the official Arena channel? No, I don't think so. Um... If I'm being completely objective here about the Magic Arena's official channel, I don't think my video performed very well on the last one. It sucks because I, I, I thought it was like one of my most fire decks. I saved that one specifically for like a pop off day on my channel. But when they called and I was like, I got a really good deck for that. I thought it was going to do really well. Um, but I think people I think I misread uh, the audience for that channel. That audience for that channel, I think, wants a little bit more, we must more meta e type stuff or closer to meta type stuff. And the deck I posted was really, really jank, but like super cool, like reanimator style deck. And uh, it didn't really perform super well, so I don't know if they're gonna hit me back anytime soon. <laughs> it would be nice though, because they they do pay really well for that. Um, for doing videos for them. I mean, they pay super fair, so that was a nice little, uh, nice little bump, but it is what it is. I was more like locked into how that video was performing than any other video on my channel. I was watching that thing every day and I'm like, oh, it's not doing great. Uh, I unsubscribed from her. She misrepresented statistics. Uh, who are we talking about? I must have missed part of that conversation. All right, we got everybody sending it. Obviously, no surprise there. I could... I could send in the Wandering Emperor, create another 2-2, two -two, take these two out, and then exile this to follow up. Three, six, I have six mana, almost seven. If I hit a land, I can play the whole breaker horror. I mean, a lot of stuff can happen here. They have the resolute reinforcements though, which is gonna make my life a little bit tricky. My people must contend with me. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that's the plan. We go two two here, we block the one ones, we exile the knight. The case is gonna pump up everything though. I don't like my chances here. Unless I can unless I can find my whole breaker horror this next turn coming down. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this off. Boros is Boros after all, which is pretty scary stuff. We hit a land. Holy cow, hold on. It's not over yet, baby. It's not over yet. You are not much of a roadblock. How many people are watching? Oh, you guys already answered that. Oh shoot, my bad. I didn't mean to. I'll look at chat in a second. I can't I can't play at this pace and keep up with chat, unfortunately. Alright, so we block you. We keep the tokens alive because the tokens are the things we want to bounce, right? I'll hang on to that. For now, I I think I attack here, forcing a block. Would it even force a block though? Probably not. All right, it is what it is. It was...
Malone was talking about Swayze playing old cards, Emperor, and he lost the ga that game. Which, uh, which, which game? I was running new cards. That's not fair. I was definitely running new cards. A lot of new cards. I had at least minimum four new cards in every one of my decks. All right, we are going to bounce the flyer. Kill you, kill you. I love Malone. I hope he didn't do me too dirty. All right, there's the scoop. GG's. This set is all about cowboys. I know, there was a lot of cowboys going on. Like Swayze's part of the US, that's true. Yeah, we're not meta. We're the Marty Mob. Couldn't say it better myself, Andrew. <laughs> oh, you guys talking about Ash Lizzle? She's pretty good, man. She she smoked me today. That's for sure. I don't know. I don't know much about her, but meta is boring. Facts. Can't agree any more than that. That's too bad. I noticed that as well about the meta decks doing well. People, all... yeah. I, I trust me. It's really weird, Kami. Like even on my own channel. If I post something that's like a little more serious and does, you know, it's not meta, but like the shell of it is kind of meta, right? Like we, we, we take the shell of something that's meta and then we tweak it quite heavily to make it fun. Those tend to do a lot better than my crazy over the top stuff, which it, it is interesting, you know, like, because like you said, you hear a lot of people complain like meta, meta, this, meta, that's crap, scrap. And then the meta decks seem to do a lot better. Because I think people secretly, they do want to win <laughs> and they want to, you know, craft those really good decks, but. Uh, that's fine. Imagine a week of, <laughs> you've been saying that for a while. Imagine a week of uh, waffle. Dude, your decks are crazy, crazy. Your decks might be a little too crazy. <laughs> yeah, Boros might stay top tier. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know if it quite got much better, but it's still a really good deck no matter what, no matter which way you slice it. See ya. When that Alara deck came out. That was when I pinged you in chat. Okay. Uh, bushwhack. Okay. Five colors squirming emergence Wednesdays. <laughs> Yo, Swayze doing early access still brewing or testing? Oh no, the early access ended. They took away our access to that. Um, Oh shoot. They took away the early access from us uh, a little bit ago. It ended at, at six o'clock, so I'm officially out of that. Oh, let's freaking go. What a clutch top deck right there, baby. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, this is actually the regular magic standard. So yes, it's ranked, but it actually was ranked today as well in the early access. Uh, four of those bad boys is not great. That's a lot of mana to work with. Oh man, we're screwed because I really needed a way to take care of the Nissa when they drop it down here, but I don't, I didn't find it. So I don't have the, uh, counter spell. We're pretty cooked here, unfortunately, because we know Nissa's is coming down. It all comes down to that shuffler, whatever you craft. Fair, fair. There's the Nissa, like clockwork. We knew it. Is there any way out of this? I don't see it. <sighs> Ten tens. Ah, oh, we're still alive. 
Sheesh, we're still alive. That's kind of crazy. Is that just to the end of the turn? Yeah, to the end of the turn. Okay, game's not over yet. Imagine we get another temporary lockdown. Oh no, those are lands. They count, so. Oh man. Watch them have another Nissa here. Wouldn't surprise me. <clears throat> I appreciate that, blo uh, Blob. I'm glad I'm on your favorites, man. That's awesome. Oh, you're kidding me. Man, I need another temporary lockdown now. Let's try to scry two with the flanker, gain some life, maybe take out something here. That's something that can't be taken with a temporary lockdown. So we'll we'll look to maybe shoot that down to get lost. All right. It is what it is. I've been saying that a lot today. It is what it is. I got to chill out with that. Okay, first we flash this in. Gain two life, scry two. Oh my god, I love you, game. I love you so much. I've never said a bad thing about you. Don't believe what you hear. It's not true. Okay. We take two. We hit the stopper. We temporary lockdown. Luckiest player alive. Yep, that's me. Please don't have another answer. Please don't have another answer. Okay. 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 We like that. We do like that. Oh, I cannot believe we're alive right now. I cannot believe we're pulling this off. Dude, today's been a really good day of magic for us. We've won a lot of games, which is very unlikely for us. We've won a lot of games today. Started out rough this morning, uh, obviously recording early on, but after like three or four losses, we kind of took off. All right, draw two cards. I don't really want to take damage to play another one here, so we'll just say my turn. And that'll do it, man. We got the whole Breaker Horror coming down. There ain't nothing they can do. Not not when they're top decking. There's no way. Good luck. Good luck stopping that. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we'll draw some cards. Because why not? I guess I should have bounced a couple of those, huh? Why not? Why not? I guess I probably shouldn't have given him that option to draw a card here, but <clears throat> there it is. It's all good. We got a lot of ways to bounce stuff, so this game is pretty much over. That was pretty silly, though, to play the Academy Lore Master. Game was already over. There's no reason to play that card. That was a silly play by me. What else is new? All right, let me scroll down. I missed a lot of your guys' chats, and I apologize. I'm going to try to catch up here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What we got? Why did Awaken the Woods uh, token stay on the battlefield? Because it's a land. It's a land creature. Um, and the temporary lockdown hits non-land permanents, unfortunately. Yeah. Yep, yep. Looks like you guys had that covered. Uh, I played against Legend VD and Saffron all of the day a lot, McFluffy. Those are good guys too, man. They, they ran some really cool decks. Swayze got me back into arena and I've cursed him daily for it. <laughs> That's fair. I, I get why your animosity is towards me now.
You can always just bounce the lockdown and replay it too. That's true, you could. Channel reward options, you versus Blob for members only. Your signups fill up quick. Are you saying that as like a recommendation? I don't think we have channel points on YouTube, unfortunately. I just see show and tell uh, the one ring. Oh, you're talking about, okay, timeless. Way too many notifications on that. Yeah, uh, Baby Bull, if you are in a Discord channel, if you want the, it's pretty cool on Discord. I, I believe, I might be wrong here, but I believe you can actually choose uh, specific channels within the Discord that you can mute. So that way you only get notifications on specific channels and topics that you want, which is pretty cool. You, um, honestly, I, sh I should probably turn it on too, but I have to keep track of everything on there and make sure nothing crazy is going on. Did you play CGB with this two cost red token copy dinosaur deck? Uh, no, I didn't. I was actually eating lunch when he was playing that. I actually uh, had a hamburger and I was watching him play. I think I watched him play against... Uh, um, shoot, I, I can't remember who it was, but I saw him play one game with it. It didn't pop off though. It didn't work. Have you ever played Rainbow Lich deck from Ali Aldraza? No, I haven't. I haven't seen that one. All right, we'll play one more here. We got time for one more. All right, cool. Yeah, I think I'm all caught up here. Uh, I have notifications turned off currently in two discords. I never participate in because I always forget about them. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that'll happen too. Um, this hand is a little scary. I, I can't lie, but this does act as green technically. Swayze, are we going to start reanimating or what? Yeah, we will start reanimating at some point, man. Uh, we didn't get a ton of really cool reanimation spells from what I saw um, on the new cards, but let me know. I might be wrong. I didn't see any. I'm looking forward to try uh and Terra and Calamity combo folks with Smuggler Surprise. Yeah, dude, that was a that was one of the funner ones today. It performed really well too. I cannot believe how easy the wins were. Shoot. Alright, well we're giving up the ability to draw now with the broker's charm, but it's okay. We still got the lore master out there. Hopefully that'll get the job done. I've got the no more lies. All right, another Wear Fox is pretty solid. Dang, we missed a land drop there. That's crazy. That's actually kind of absurd. These Wear Foxes are going to be super helpful to us, so we we got to take out this Rot Priest. I don't know what to do though, because we don't have double white, you know. What do we get rid of here? It's probably the charm. Do you have a most hated or despised card? Um, despised card. Good question. If there's a card that I see that really makes me go, ugh. Um, what is it? I definitely have one. I, I as soon as you said that, it's like my brain was like, it got that feeling like somebody just played it on me. What is it? Hold on, let me think. All right, we got that. You know what's really funny? And I'm not just saying this because we're playing against it. Rot Priest could be up there with that. <laughs> it's definitely a card that I see and I just, it, I just, pff, I lose the wind out of my sails because I know they're going to get some crazy copy combo or get a second Rot Priest down or. It's one of those cards I think that just beats me so often that it really does make me feel bad. Same with the uh, Double Strike uh, Human. The two drop double strike human i forget his name but it's a tempo style list where you just pump it a bunch of times and protect it a million with a million things and you win the game 
those types of decks where they tempo us out really annoying all right so they are taxed right now by two so they can still protect us but it's going to cost three and then i can kill them with the uh, get lost next turn What are you gonna do, brother? Oh, farewell. Yeah, you guys, you guys nailed it. Farewell. Definitely good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah, it's got to be farewell. Now that I think about it, we're gonna declare. Uh, actually, this is phased out. Take action. Let's start the beat down. I recorded a match where a guy cast farewell and I killed him at instant speed. Oh boy, it's a Drake. I see Glissa Sunslayer and I know it's not going to be a fun match. Oh, you don't like Glissa Sunslayer? I mean, I don't mind it. It's definitely an annoying card. You see it, 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 it tenses you up a little bit, but uh, it's not super scary because if you, I mean, it's pretty easy to kill. Like these things, you know, you're never going to be able to kill, right? Because you just like watch, we target it, they protect it, you target it, they protect it. It's really annoying. How about this? See, I just made two attempts on its life and it's still alive somehow. And of course they phase it out, so I can't even, uh, I can't even target it on my turn. <laughs> even when they're tapped out, they're fully protected. That's the kind of stuff that annoys the absolute heck out of me. That would have been so good. Man, I'm annoyed. I think you jinxed me with that question. <laughs> Alright, three cards left in their hand. Please tell me they're running out of juice, man. Surely this hits. Surely this hits, right? Poison counter. Draw a card. Until end of turn, gets flying one toxic one. Oh my god. I'm at nine poison counters right now, so I'm pretty much dead if they have another spell. Which they do. But of course they do! That's the deck I hate the most. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I know. Phases out and I still get the poison tokens. Great. Great. Island's mo <laughs> Island is your most hated card. Now that's a solid answer. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Guys, I want to say thank you so much. This stream has been so much fun. As short as it was, I know it wasn't like a three-hour stream or anything. Uh, you know, maybe it was pretty close, actually. But I do appreciate you guys for being here. And the new set looks absolutely fire. There's some really cool cards coming out, man. And we're going to have a ton of fun going forward. Uh, but it is 7 o'clock my time. I do have to edit a bunch of videos, like I said, before I, got, I, you know, I go on vacation uh, soon. Uh, after work tomorrow, I leave. So I'm going to do my route, come home and immediately leave. So I got to get some videos posted and ready to go and lined up to just kind of auto go out to you guys. So um, I got to get started on that. But I do want to say I appreciate you guys very much. I'll leave you guys with this flash list. If you haven't seen it yet, the video has been out, I think, since Thursday last week. I don't know. I can't remember, but maybe Monday. Check it out. It's a, it's a really good deck list. We've been ranking up pretty heavy with it. So uh, but that does it, man. That does it. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for the memberships, the uh, gifted memberships, everything, man. I appreciate you guys so much for all your love and support. You guys are the best. I'll see you next time. Hit up three times like a hat trick. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic. Yeah, that's magic. Yeah. FTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, but the
the meta This ain't cheap, yeah, it's got some jujetta Talking real crazy if you think that you better He got full control and he ain't gonna let her Hit him three times like a hat trick The name is Swayze, no Patrick yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic Yeah, MTG, that's what you'll Good see Good luck to you, Waffle like I hope it goes well for you, brother all of the time Yeah Yeah, all of the time